All right, so now we tile this up. You can uh, control wheel mouse allows you to wheel up. And I'm just going to take this whole thing and copy it and paste as new layer. So this time I have a shadow at the bottom that I have to get rid of. Again, I'm using that eraser tool. I'm just trying to erase that shadow right there. Just like that. It's okay at the very, very bottom because that's the very bottom of a couple of the buildings anyway. Okay, now I just got to kind of line this up so it matches. Just like that. Copy, paste as, new layer. And you guessed it, this is how I do. This, this upscaling works for any kind of texture, anything. So if you got some high resolution rust and you want it even higher and smaller, this is how you do it. It's never let me down yet. It is very boring, however, so. Now I know there's some hot keys for GIMP. I have not, I've been reluctant to look those up. But at least you know where the interface is at. Constantly using control. <clears throat> so I'm constantly using control here to fix all this and then I'm going to merge down there we go I now have a brick texture and I can move this anywhere I want. So if I want to move it just a little bit this way, it'll get rid of that shadow. There's a little bit of a pattern here. We're going to take care of that here in a second. But essentially that's where it's at right here. Now, we're going to look at color map and we're going to look at normal map. Now normal map, we're going to look extensively in another um, application. But for right now, I'm just going to generate a normal map from a texture. Now there's something I like to do before I do that and that is I like to go filters, enhance, sharpen. I don't want to sharpen that much but I do like to sharpen this. Okay, they sharpen bricks and make a copy of this layer. So edit copy, edit paste as new layer. 
And then I'm going to go filters, map, normal map. The scale I'm going to put to 3. And how do I know 3? Well, I go into 3D preview, and this is based upon, I think, DirectX. So what I'm going to do is kind of put this to the angle, and then take my light, click and drag in here, and you can see the brick. Okay, that's what I want. Okay, close that, hit OK. And just for your sake only, I'm going to call this normal so you can get that terminology down. And this is color. And this background needs to be out of here. Also, you need to go and destroy alpha if you can. And it doesn't look like you can, so that's all right. As long as you don't save it as alpha. All right. Let's go file, save as. I'm going to save my normal map. I'm going to be using TGA. And I'm going to be using this naming convention, brick underscore NM. Okay, I'm going to go save that. I can't hit the save button on this monitor because it's just too low res. So, Okay, that's saving. Okay, I'm going to uncheck that one so I get the color. File, save as. And I'm going to save it as color map. Again, over here to save it. Merge all layers. I'm going to keep this open because I don't know what, what the next thing I want to do is establish some kind of pattern breaking thing here. So I think what I want to do is show you that and how to do that. Rust texture. Okay, advanced search for rust texture. Again, I'll search a little high in the 6 meg megapixels. And I just want something here. I like this. This is nice. Oh, it's got those toothpicks. Darn it. That one's nice. I'm looking for something with just a little bit of color in it, not much. Uh, something that'll break the pattern. So I'm going to copy this image and I'm going to paste it into this GIMP. Paste as new layer. Okay, then I'm going to go to the scale feature, which is right here. Scale that down. Move it. And then upscale it a little bit. Now, it doesn't matter if it's uniformly scaled or not. I'm not using this map for the for the uh, resolution, I'm using it for the color. So what I'm going to do is make sure it's on top and use a thing called soft light. And then I'm going to lower it down. I don't like that, so let's try multiply and then turn that down. So I'm tinting these bricks a little darker. So here's with it off, here's with it on. Okay, so it establishes some higher grade noise there. Save as, and I'm resaving that over the color map. Okay, now that I have my two maps, saved out. Let's go into the next video where I apply those maps.